Oh, this little boob shimmy. Oh, 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 drunken. <laughs> It's Ben and Chrissy, Cowan Cadaries, and welcome back to another exciting video. Hi. FN2 today. Um, very excited about this one. Uh, I had a lovely gift from my beautiful other half, Kaylee. Uh, my machine polisher, uh, recommended by Benjamin, which he found this one. Yeah, we've been looking at loads, haven't we? Yeah, I was going to spend stupid money on a Maguire's one, yeah. which is amazing. Well, it's stemmed from all accounts. Sorry to cut you off. As always. So this stemmed from when Fireworks <laughs> dropped off all the wings and that for the SDK and your bonnet. Yeah. That I was chatting to the guy who works for Fiberworks who hand delivered it to me in his car and he Gentleman. is a professional detailer and polisher and paint restorer. And he said I was chatting to him about it and he said to me, he said, Look, he said, Don't go for the three hundred pound one or whatever. Money he said it's, yeah. it's pointless. Yeah. If it's just a hobby. Yeah. Yeah, so exactly. we didn't, and then Auto Finesse brought out, look, 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 we don't dislike Auto Finesse stuff, those products are good, but for what you got for your money, it mm. was worth it. It's a DA polisher, obviously, isn't it? But yeah. it's got the five inch pad, and you can swap out the base and put a three inch on it for like your beams and all that sort of stuff, do you know what I mean? So I think it was worth yeah. it. It's the uh, Auto Finesse MPX, I believe oh. it is, polisher. That'll be all in the description it's a DA, anyway. It's a and it's a DA. action polisher. So it is. It shouldn't go wrong. So yeah, I'm very excited, and especially on a black car. Yeah, yeah, it's totally, and it as I've said millions of times, this car is swell city. It is, um, real bad. She looks amazing, but when the sun hits at yeah. certain angles... Well, it's like under the, I put the new lights up in that, so it's super bright in this middle bay now. Yeah, and, uh, the yeah. detailing bay. The detailing bay, oh God. So Chrissy, this is all Chrissy on this video. It is. I ain't got a fucking yeah. clue. Yeah, so I've done... I've done a bit of a Benjamin actually on You've this one. Actually, research. I've done loads of research, watched loads of videos, mostly Maguire's videos. So, if anybody from Maguire's watches this video, please send us some free shit. Yeah, that'd be nice. That'd be amazing because we're repping you. Would be nice. Carbon my rider. <laughs> just, just yes, carbon my ride. It's yes. in the post. It is in the post. So we've got some so free stuff way. from carbon my ride coming for you guys. There's a giveaway coming up very soon. It's a good one. Which all we all we didn't ask for it. Did we? No, we didn't. No, no, they, just messaged me out the blue. Private like personally messaged you, didn't yeah. You? Text message, yeah, 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 and just said, Look, thanks for putting loads of business our way. We're sending you some free stuff to give away to your subscribers. So it's, just, it's an FN2 that. giveaway, guys. It so is. not a car, <laughs> oh, that sounded a bit, yeah. It. One day, one day, we'll give away a car, oh, yeah, maybe one day. Give away an S2000. So here we go, then. Let's see what products you're going to use. This is it. This is the uh, the goodies. There's a little so cinematic. what have we got, Chris? The cinematic there. Uh, so we've got the polisher, the nice Auto Finesse thing. MPX DA polisher Very with nice. five inch pad and three inch pad. Yeah, so that's the difference of it in size. So that's perfect for like your door pillars and stuff, isn't it? Absolutely perfect, mate. Yeah. I'm doing like across. If you want to use that one on the bottom of your doors and stuff, uh, yeah. Anyway, we Amazing. shall see. Okay. Uh, then, so stage one, obviously, uh, clay, clay bar. Yeah. Clean the car, clay bar it. Boom, jobs are good in. Maguire's again. We'll obviously show you that. We're not going to show you the whole process of clay no, no. but we'll show you what you've got to do. Because it'll be like a five hour video otherwise. No, another one. <laughs> and then um, the next stage. This stuff I've heard amazing things about. Yeah, Never actually used it, but apparently it's incredible. Yeah. So the Maguire's Ultimate Compound, and then stage three oh. would be the Ultimate Polish. Yep. Um, yeah, that's that stage. And then. 
I was going to get the Maguire's uh, wax, but it's like 40 quid mm. and funds are a bit low. <laughs> so we thought, because we've got it and it's never been used. So Ben came up with a fantastic idea because he's a gentleman. He got this for your birthday, didn't you? I did, a couple of years ago. A couple of years ago. It. The old finesse. Well, I've never been able to use it because you've got to do it inside. Yeah. And you've got to leave your car for six hours for it to cure. So this is the perfect time to do it now. We've got the unit, isn't it? Exactly. And you actually used this on your wheels, didn't you? Yeah, yeah I did, mate, on my other in. wheels. So we've got a ceramic coat kit to protect it afterwards. And what Very pads cool. are you using? Pussy? Pad-wise, right this, now... This is the bit I know nothing about. All right, I was recommended by uh, Dan mm -hmm. of the FN2 crew uh, that he uses the Hexlogic uh, pads and we did a live stream last night and a few people agreed that they were very good pads they did yeah uh, the hex logic pads from uh, chemical guys so what's the difference so explain basically right I mean I looked at the Maguire's pads and they were like very expensive but apparently they are machine washable and all this yeah. stuff but uh, these ones I was recommended to get which is these ones hex logics mm. so what's, what's the difference in the colors so we've got the uh, uh, medium heavy cutting pad. So right. this will be used uh, when compounding. Okay, so with this? With the, with the yeah. ultimate compound. Okay, so that's the first that's your pad first, that you'll use. That's the first pad. So that's the swirl remover. Yeah, basically. Much. Yeah. Okay. So you've got that one. Then you've got your light medium polishing pad. Okay. Which, which obviously will that. then be used for that one. Yeah. Okay. Got you. And then I've got this one, obviously, with the intention of the wax, but. On a lot of videos I've watched, a lot of them apply the wax by hand. Yeah, I think that makes sense. So, but this is an ultra soft finishing pad. Okay. So you can use that for buffing or, yeah. but it's worth having because if any time I just want to buff the car, give it a light buff over, yeah, true. got the pad to do it. So I think the pads we're going for mostly today is the orange and white. Yeah, and then you've got exactly the same. The same principle. But smaller. With these so pads. This one's got an extra one. So you've got four in there. Yeah. So that, is that just? Half of it's a very light. Yeah, I think so. I think the blue one, I think, is not as soft as a red one. I think the blue one, again, is a, uh, a finishing pad again. Got you. So we'll use the orange one. So, yeah, it, again, it'd be orange and white, yep. I would have thought, on these Sweet ones too. Sweet as fuck. So, like I say, I've done a lot of research on it. You have, for once. Me and Ben, and, yeah. <laughs> we're not professionals, guys. We're not professional detailers, so I'm sure there'll be comments that say that you shouldn't use this, you shouldn't do that. But as if there will be. This but is going to be perfect as always. Is, yeah, this is all the stuff that I've We've got all the shit, mate. Yeah. We've got this all is, the gear. This is, this is all the stuff that... A lot of fucking money's out there. Fucking is, mate. <laughs> yeah. But the amount that you would pay someone to do it would be a lot more than what that's cost. And we get to oh, do totally. it as often as we want, whenever we want. Yeah, exactly. So... And I, I would, as well, if this goes well, which I'm pretty sure it's going to, you can't really go wrong with a DA polisher, I don't think, um, then I would be keen to do other people's cars as well. Yeah, if this totally. comes out as good as I'm hoping it's going to, yeah. um, then uh, we would do it more often on other people's cars. I think friends and family and any of you guys want to come down for a day, and we can all do it together. I'm guessing Robster will be like first in the queue for that. Robster was on about using it, wasn't he? And Dan. So yeah, sweet as. So cool. we're going to... So got... the, the stage the car's at at the minute was, yeah. me and Ben come down last night after work. We did. And we've uh, snow foamed the car. We've... Uh, iron out the wheels, not that it really matters about the wheels. Citrus pre-wash, we proper Citrus pre -wash. give it a very good clean with Easy Car Care products and... Auto Bright. Auto Bright products, the Auto Bright Snow Foam. We're going to do a separate video on them because we've got the new gun, the little mini one. Brilliant. And their Snow Foam, Jesus Christ, it's good. The little gun is so oh, good. Oh, it's so good. And the foam But is I forgot so the girl for off, so we didn't film it. The foam is so thick. It's like it literally is thick, you... but it still runs off. Yeah, I mean, this my car has actually come up gleaming yes. with just that. It so, has, oh, and, and obviously washed mm. two bucket method. Right? So... But this is what she looks like now, look. She's like freshly imported. Freshly imported from Japan slash Swindon. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah. yeah, we cleaned it and then covered it obviously to keep the crap off. So now yeah, we're going to we get a bit of dust in the unit. Yeah, exactly. So. so if we take that front one off, and then we'll basically we'll do a demonstration of the uh, clay bar. Clay bar. Look, I've switched everything up in here as well. How clean it is! It? I was down here all day yesterday. So I moved the sofa over there, moved all the kitchen bit around so that we can park another car there, i.e. the SC1000. <laughs> so I made the most of it, oh, so I'm And we can actually walk around it now and still have two bays to put two other cars in. So we can easily fit 
three cars in here now. Put another separate oh, little okay. workbench over here. Now that light's on it. Look yeah, at that. It? You can see it a mile off. All them scratches. Look at that. You can see it. Look at that. You can see it on camera. Yeah. So you see all them micro scratches. I mean, that is horrendous. Obviously, Chris is going to be taking his bonnet off, but it's a really good power to show you the how good this stuff is. Totally. Look at it. Look. That is disgusting. Yeah, yeah, so from yeah. a distance, look. Shiny, yeah, shiny, amazing. lovely, lovely. Especially you can see the lights doing their thing as well. It's made a hell of a difference. Yeah. And then you get closer and look at that. It's bad, isn't it? It's horrendous. But it's black. And on a black car. And I'm guessing that this this process has never ever been done on this car. I wouldn't have thought so, mate. People so, just don't really get it, do they? Well, I think the clay bar is going to take right. shitloads yeah. off. Yeah, it will do. It'll get rid of all the crap. So basically, all the clay bar is. Contaminant remover. There's a contaminant remover. When you run your hand over your paint, like so, it's like there's loads of drag on your fingers. And then once you've clay barred it, you do the same and it should literally feel like glass. Like yeah. literally. But also, another thing obviously that I've done the research on, don't just go out and buy a clay bar and think, oh my God, that's going to amazingly make my car look good. It will not really improve the look of the paint, it will just make it feel no, exactly. it gets smoother. All the stuff you can't see off. Really. So it's not going to get scratches and all that. So don't go out and buy clay bar kits and think, that's it, job done. No, you won't get rid of scratches. No, clay yeah. bar is like a prep before washing. Exactly, polishing. exactly. So. I mean, you can, you can obviously clay bar your car after a good wash and stuff like that. It's just good practice to maybe do it once a year. So it gets all the tar and the shit off the road off of it, obviously, which then embeds into the paint. And then when you wash the car, you're spreading that around and creating all these tiny little micro scratches. It's funny me, look, we don't know what we're talking about. We're all over this shit. So let's have a look, see what we've got in here then, shall I? So you obviously get, oh God, the spray. So that is the stuff that lubricates the surface for when you're uh, clay bar and then that there is your little block of clay. <coughs> so we'll probably split that in, in half, take a bit each so we can rinse it quicker obviously with both of us doing it and uh, it is literally a bit of clay. And also uh, from research uh, don't just use the clay bar like that, get it out and you yeah, almost make it. it into a bit like a like a burger patty. You do, yeah, that's right, like a little dip. Yeah, and then and then you all over it like, like that, you know, you know what I'm talking about, lads. One of them, two fingers. So much research going into this, thank you, man. Double finger it. So yeah, I'll let Chrissy do a little clay bar demonstration, and then we'll probably just time lapse a bit of the clay bar in situation. And then we're getting on to the good stuff. This is the boring bit, but even just doing this by touch, we should see a massive difference. So, uh, but it has to be done. Let's watch Chrissy start clay barring. Look how dirty that is. <laughs> Rude. Oh my god, how much did you get in that packet? Oh, right. <laughs> I just showed them that. Look, what does that look like? <laughs> a very battered vagina. Labia. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, so that's the auto first one, you get loads with it, but more is not always good because the auto clay bar was not that great, but it did the job and it's all I could get to be honest. Oh, I see. Oh, did a little boob shimmy. Oh, oh, crunking. <laughs> is it crunking? Okay, oh, so. Damn so what have you done? I made it into a, a little pate. Pate. Nice. And you get your lube. So then we're just gonna. And what do you do? Just do a bit of time so you know you've covered everything. It's quite easy on the bottom, isn't it? Because you've got these two lines obviously down here. Oh my so god. So we're gonna split it into three. Already, and that, that is all you do. Look. Feels disgusting. Can you hear it, right? Yeah. Listen. Oh yeah. So that noise, like like scratchy noise, is basically the clay bar pulling out all the crap and I'm assuming all you, yeah look and then all you do is you just keep doing that but then you can you fold over the clay bar to get the new bit and then re-squidge it and then and then on you go again already, so you don't need a lot L listen listen to that look already look nothing. nothing gone and then go over here so that's before clay bar before and then go over to there after nothing so all it's doing, like we said, is pulling all pulling all the shit off. 
And then what do you do with that? Just microfiber towel and wipe it off? Yeah. I did buy a load of new ones right in preparation for this. Where they are is another thing. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, loads of them, look. Yeah, there's loads of them. Bloody hundreds. Yeah, there's loads of them. 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 Yeah, there's loads it's so smooth now. Yeah, I remember doing it on my roof and thinking how good it was. And obviously it's quite time consuming, but you've got to do it because if you put a polisher on one that's not been clay barred, all those little bits the clay bar's picking up, it's, it's going to work it, smash it into the paint and it'll shit out the, the fuck out of it. So you've got to do it. And we're just lucky that we've got somewhere inside to do it, you know? There we go. That's, down here. that's section there. And then yeah, just break your panels down, I guess, and then fold it, refold it over. Let's have a look. See that? That's all disgusting. that shit. And you can see, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up. Oh, there's loads of little black bits in there, which I'm assuming is like look how gross that is. There you go. That's just from and one that, pass. that looked so like wipe a, it off and that then, looked uh, like a clean car. Yeah, yeah, it did. And then yeah, just wipe off the excess. I'd refold the yeah. towel over again and give it another pass. <clears throat> Just feels silky. Yeah, we'll be able to tell by the, the other side, won't we? There we go, look. Yeah, now it's, you just flip your towel over. God, you can see the swells even more now. So that is as clean as you can get it right now. And look at the swells, mate. <laughs> look at that. And you can just sure. feel, oh, look at the feel, just feel that. And then, yeah, so if you run your hand down it, there's, well, if you, you can, if you get your nail, there's not a single sound. It's mad, mad, isn't it? Nothing. Crazy, mate. Crazy. So do that to the whole car. It has, it has made a difference, though, because that is, yeah, mental. Mm -hmm. So we don't need to show you as clay bar an entire car, but that's how you do it. Just break your panels down into one or two or three sections, depending on how big they are, so you know where you've been, basically, in it. Yeah, pretty much. So you're not going over it twice. So we're going to now do that to the entire car, then God. get to the good bit. It's different, honestly. It's mad, isn't it? The difference. I remember when I did my roof, I thought it was exactly the same. It makes yeah. a hell of a difference. Gareth, uh, Expression Culture, they clay barred um, the lad that, oh, I can't remember your name, I'm sorry, that does the channel with him and on his Civic. And yeah, it makes a huge difference. It just takes ages. And we're lucky to be able to do it inside as well, aren't we? So we're going to crack on. We'll come back to you once the car is clay barred. I'll put a lovely bit of music up, something nice and tranquil so you can sit there with your bag of popcorn and watch us clay bar in a car in about 60 seconds when it's probably taken us about two hours. <laughs> it's not going to take that long. Clay bard. Hope you enjoyed that little time lapse. And it's made a big difference. I mean, the paint definitely, it just looks cleaner, doesn't it? And the shit that come off it, especially the lower levels, obviously where all the crud and the front bumper and stuff was, but it is literally glass everywhere. You can see, look at that there. This bit's quite bad. Look at them scratches there. They are everywhere. Obviously, any real deep scratches, a polish is just not going to cut it, is it? But the majority of yours look like they're all just surface stuff, and like they really bonnet is fucking horrendous. Yeah. Okay, look, let's grab the uh, like you said, now you, light. Put, now you put the extra light up as well, see yeah, much more. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> look at it, that jeez, that's mad. Look at them. So hopefully, these are all going to be gone. Hopefully, mate, yeah. But yeah, that was for any tips on clay bar in there, isn't there? Really, is it? Not really, just make sure you lubricate the surface yeah. well with you the can, spray. You can feel it, yeah. can't you, when you're going over oh, it. Yeah, yeah. And you're, you're rubbing it, 
there's loads of drag on it and it just gets less draggy every time you do it, doesn't it? Yeah. And then you run your hand over it and you can feel straight away. So it's, all the cracks it's, come you off. can clearly feel where yeah, you've totally. been and where you haven't been. Totally. But just make sure you know, be generous with the spray. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, Therefore. really good stuff. Recommend the Meguiar's clay bar kit. Yeah, definitely. very good. Really good stuff. Very good, so yeah. Yeah, there we go. It wasn't too long either, was it? No, well, two about of us half hour. Well. Two of us half hour. that pretty quickly. Now comes the fun bit. Yeah. Because he hasn't even turned it on yet. Oh yeah, you did, didn't I did you? I did on my birthday, I just had a little woo! <laughs> <laughs> so... Let's get the extension lead out. We will... We're going to mask off, I think, half the bonnet. Which have got to do it, everyone does it, don't they? So they put a little blue line down the middle and then you've got to... Uh, so I think we'll do that, I'll we'll get a bit of masking tape and we'll bang it. Like I said, straight the bonnet, down the middle. The bonnet is literally... Well, no, we won't, we won't. If, I, if I put a tape line down that no. crease, yeah. and then we're going to do this in one, two, three sections. The bonnet is literally for your guys' purposes to see yeah. the difference, and so fucked. And for me to so get a feel thing. for the polish, because I've never used one before. Exactly, because so. in the van we've got this brand new, freshly painted Fiberworks bonnet. Ooh. Ooh. On, so, uh, we just got to stick the grills in that in, so yeah. Oh. Oh my goodness. Are you in your tie-dye? I love it. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my Christ, what is that? That'll do. And then work it in, baby. <coughs> so this is priming the pad. Priming the pad. Look at this, look. Oh, it's all going to drop off the end. Oh god. Work it right in there, boy. I am working it in, mate. Oh, yeah. And the idea of this, so the videos tell us, so the pad so that it never dries has out. Product on it. Yeah. Hold oh, on, me a nice new machine. Jesus, we could have fucking making a mess of this. Give it a bit of force. Push it in there. There we go. Right then. So, three size we're, dots. We're going to. One, We've split it into two, this section, so we're just going to three, do this section to four, start with, obviously. Five. Let me see. Piece right, size dots. Okay. Let's not put that there because you're just going to kick it all over the floor. Right, then right. what do we do? There we go. One, two. Stamp out your work three. area, that's what they say. Like that. Right, what speed are we going on and stuff like that? I don't, I don't know. I, oh, I don't know. Because uh, that's the slowest speed first to spread. Oh, okay. So you do a quick. Yeah. Got you. Okay. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, right over your shoulder. But what I liked as well with the auto finesse. Such a long lead. One is, um, they, oh God, filming. Is they've, with that, because this is brand new and it's just come out. It only came out like a month ago, didn't it? Or yeah. a couple of months ago and it sold out immediately. And they purposely made the extension a lot longer. So. Thing over your shoulder to stop it rubbing on your paint. Always start the machine on the surface as well, because otherwise product just goes everywhere. Yeah. Just a quick pass to spread the product. Yep. And you stop it on the on there as well. And then we rev it up. So you don't put any more product on. So all you've done is spread the area, the yeah. product over the area you're going to work on, which is this bit. Never do too much at once. Never too much at once. And now, now you're going to go up to what speed three up. quarter speed, something like that, wasn't it? Yeah, th between three and four. So what what's it got on there? Uh, it goes up to six. So from zero to six. So oh. I reckon yeah, about four. I want to go four. four. I want to go four. Okay. And we can look like we can always. Uh, and this is where you put lines on the back. We're doing about an inch every second, is it? Something like that? Mostly an inch every five seconds. Really? Oh, it's good, isn't it? And you go up and down, up and down, and then, what do we call it? Half tagging. And you always overlap as well. Yeah. Hard nice flat. You're not putting any pressure on that, are you? No, literally just letting the machine do the work. 
so no pressure. The weight of the machine will, will put enough pressure on it. Oh, I say, with an aeroplane. Doing up and downies, up and downies. Right, and then what, you just wipe the product off, do you? Yeah. Again, hashtags. God, fucking hell, mate. There's quite a deep scratch there. Then. Oh, no, it's, yeah. It's got all, wow. And you flip the towel, don't you, and then go the opposite direction. Yeah. Fucking hell, mate, what a difference. Obviously, it's not going to get rid of stone chips and shit like that. And I can see quite a big scratch there. Can you see it? Yeah. It's not going to get real deep, deep scratches scratch going around the paint. But fuck me, mate. That is nuts. Look at that. That's mad. It's literally got rid Compared of all this. Isn't it? Look at that. Do it. Do the tape. <laughs> I'll let you do the tape. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I, I can see a huge difference. <clears throat> Buff, just buff that edge off here. So I'm filming absolutely nothing there. I'll give it another go over the cloth I would. Let's just see the product on it. Yeah, let's just see it on there. Wow, mate. That's nuts. And obviously, you can go over it again, can't you? Yeah, if you wanted to. But the, the bonnet obviously was the worst bit. I would, I would possibly, but we're changing the bonnet anyway, so it's pointless, but I would be uh, tempted to do the bonnet twice but the bonnet's always going to look slightly rough because of all the bloody stone chips in that let's get the light oh, wow. really dip. jesus so oh, i don't really need the light well you can see that there's very there's some deeper ones in there obviously but you go from there to that mate to this look at that though look that is insane so look at the state of that just give that a wipe because it's got like a bit of sponge shit on there. That's better. So you go from this to this. Like immediately, it's like dull as fuck. And then watch the camera. It's like bosh, <laughs> shiny. Wow, mate. Good stuff. That's amazing. What a difference. Yeah, totally. Look, look at these here. That's brilliant. I would probably second pass that. I wouldn't bother because you changed can change it anyway. But if the bonnet was staying, then I would, yeah, yeah totally. Definitely. But wow, what a difference, mate. You're standing back here, you can see it a mile off. Look at it on the camera, look. Wow, yeah. You can see the difference. Fuck wow. me, mate. That's amazing. Really good. Well, there you go. You've got the whole car to do now, mate. You're going to be broken. Oh, I'm going to be literally broken. Back, it's killing me already. Mm. Just doing that. <laughs> so, as you can see, ladies and gents, what a difference. I'm yeah. very excited to see what the car's going to look like when it's done. It's going to be amazing. Can't wait. Now it's Benji's turn. Oh, what the fuck? You're going to do the poncho, mate. Yeah, I'll have a go on the bonnet. We won't film that, though, because we're already at, like half an hour already, probably more. So I'm going to have a little go. And you think as well, that is literally just a compound on it. That's not even that's no the polish. Of wax yet. No, that's nothing. So it's going to come up and the the polish is what gives it that super high gloss isn't yeah it? so you, you your, your compound obviously is your restorer yeah your polish then seals it uh, tr uh feeds the paint yeah feeds the paint brings the paint back to life exactly. and then That's your wax what it, is what seals it yeah. the, so, so the, the polish research is <laughs> what gives it that real high gloss yeah. fucking shine isn't yeah it? yeah yeah the polish like feeds you feed yeah. that into the paint amazing mate I'm so impressed with that. that really that's just stuff. one pass, just the compound, no polish. The difference is insane. Very impressed. Obviously going to have to do mine now. Top marks, my boys. Very good. So, Chrissy's now going to polish the rest of the car. <laughs> and I'm going to do a little bit of tidying up, put some tunes on. Say one thing, we'll do a little time lapse. Be, we're not going to be filming this. This is coming off. Oh, God. Because I'm going to not want to fucking see that. I had to see that last night. He. Stayed at mine last night because we obviously did a live stream, so it just makes sense to stay at mine because we're always on there for about 10 hours. 
And uh, he might, says he doesn't snore. Ben might then... actually put a little clip in the video, actually, probably right about now. He says he doesn't snore. We were watching Alan Partridge laughing and joking. Then literally, it's like turning off a light switch. <coughs> so we're chatting away, having a drink, watching Alan Partridge, and then bang, switch goes off, and that's it. That's him there, snoring his head off. So yeah, let's get polishing. Right, Chris is exhausted. This is this is hard. Well, not for me. I'm done anyway. I've yeah. just been cleaning shelves, which I'll show you shortly. So now we have Chris has done all the big panels. So what he's done is he's done like the main bit of the door. But he's left the bottom bits of the door. He hasn't done the front bumper yet. The wings he's not going to do anyway because they're freshly painted. He's just going to polish them. Hasn't done the pillars. Um, he's done these big panels on the back. He's done the roof, which is just Amazing. look at the reflection of that. It's not that you can see. The tire, that looks like I'm looking at that, but it's actually a reflection. It's fucking crazy. And that's no polish. And that's no polish yet either. That's purely just the oh. cutting compound. So we've now switched. This is why I kind of swayed Chrissy towards this one. So now we've switched to the small three incher, which you can see by size comparison is the massive difference. So that now we can get the fiddlier areas like the front bumper, these pillars and stuff, the wing mirrors, and all the fiddly bits and bobs, like all this sort of stuff is gonna be a pain in the ass. I think pretty much the whole rear end will be done with that. Yeah, hundred percent, defo. So yeah, it's uh, the difference is, well, we look at, look at, all you can see is reflection. It's mad, and that's without using the ultimate polish. So I'm super excited to uh, see what it's gonna come out like with the super, with the super polish, the ultimate polish. So yeah, Chris is gonna crack on with the smaller one and I'm gonna, uh, I've just been eating pizza. That's all I've been doing really. I did all this though, look. Chris cut some new wood for our shelves because it was all blowing. So I sorted out all the cleaning products in that. manufacturer order. <laughs> manufacturer order. That's all the refillables up there from the good old Easy Car Care. I got three of them, I got the APC. <laughs> The citrus wash and the fallout remover, which stinks. Five litres each for 40 quid on That's offer. That's amazing stuff. It's so good, mate. So good. Look at that fine figure of a man. God, so hot, mate. This tin roof is killing me. I don't know. That was me yesterday. <coughs> so you can fuck off, mate, because I was all down here, so I'm going. Right, come on, Chris, get on with it. Who's having a fag? I'll let you have a fag. I'll let you have a fag. He's going to do mine for me as well when it's all finished. I dropped it all to paint today. I don't know if I told you that. I'm exciting. So, yeah, that just sticks on there, I'm assuming. Like so. Oh, God. Oh, God. I can't get it on straight. It's a very thick looking pad, isn't it? And there we go, look, a little bubby one. We'll obviously make sure it's on straight and I guess it, yeah. You don't want to get the Velcro on your car, imagine plenty, that. You've got plenty of discs that you yeah. it's very, These are very thick pads, aren't they? Oh, yeah. These aren't actually chemical guys, though. No, they're not, are they? These are like Amazon ones. So, they'll be right for the pillars and that. Well, one. yeah. So, yeah, Chris is going to crack on with that, and then we'll check in once the car, the whole car's been 
com uh, like cut and compounded, did 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 did, and then. Polishing. We'll show you the po we'll show you a panel of the polishing and what the difference is between if we do like say if we do this bottom door bit and then we'll show you the difference between that and that because it's right next to each other. Do you know what I mean? Awesome. See you in a bit. Yeah. Sweat today. Just ran my coat of my wheels and said to Chris, Come on, I've got a bit of a sweat on. And he's literally just pushed the whole car with the machine. <laughs> the I'm car well. Have some better piece of pie. So, apart from the front wings, because there was no need to compound them, was there? No. Because they're freshly painted, we're going to polish them there. The entire car has now been machine polished with the cutting compound. And it looks amazing. Look, never seen so much reflection. Look, there's me that. <laughs> it's crazy, mate. It's so goddamn clean. Even the mirror, don't I remember? Yeah. Oh, fuck me, yeah. It looks so good, mate. I'm excited about the next bit. So, next is. Change of pad, so now I'm going to go into the big one again. No, I'm going to do because the point is changing the back and plate over okay. again. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. So, on to the white medium polish pad now. Okay, well, what we'll do is I want to show them the like a big panel, right? So, do do what you got to do, well, unless you just want to swap it to the big one, it's up to you. I know it's not, not exactly hard, is it? Just swap it, okay? We'll swap it, and because then, then what we'll do is we'll polish this. this big door area here and then we can you can see a, a left and a right as to what it looks like it's fucking gleaming mate already it looks so good i don't know how well the camera's going to pick it up but so i'll swap that over for the five inch put the different pad on it and yeah well let's let's do that now shall us mm -hmm. so i'm gonna my wheels I'll leave them now for a day to fn2 cure. video fn2 video shut up and I've rolled them on the carpet and I've got shit all stuck in the bloody ceramic coating. <laughs> Cock. I just I had some of this left over. So, uh, well, I'll give them a, a new wheel of ceramic coat because it protects them, especially with the stainless lip because the brake dust for some reason is an absolute <coughs> swat to get off of it. And with it being stainless, obviously, it shows up like fook. So, a ceramic coat should stop it sticking. Yes, they look amazing. God, they're beautiful. Right, anyway, that's the job in hand. So, we have put the five incher back on. So, this is getting set up again. You've got to allow yourself a damn good day yeah. if you're going to do this properly. Um, and that, what we're using now? So this is the ultimate polish, pre waxing glaze. Polish with a white polishing pad, polishing medium pad. polish pad. Let's see. Let's move at the back. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cool. Deep reflections and high gloss eliminates fine swirl marks. So this is gonna get Another step it up a notch. Yeah. Isn't it? Same process again. Work it in just to get the You can buy like I think you can buy proper tools for this, but it's like it's a fucking thing, isn't it? Yeah. Just wanna get it in the pad a bit. Oh it smells nice. Ooh. Oh, it's got a coat in the beard. Oh yeah, it does. Mm. It's Although it's not always about the smell. No, obviously not. It's about how good the product is. So it's exactly the same process then, and you put your dots on there. Yeah. Well I think on the actual video they do like X's. Oh yeah, they go ch -ch -ch, Yeah. Don't they? Yeah. I remember. I remember seeing that. So how um, quickly you gotta do this one then? Uh not as it's just like a To so just do one pass? Yeah. Well, uh, an up, down, up, down, up, down. Yeah. And that's it? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go on number two. It's a spread. Oh, okay. Bit of so you're just spreading the product around. This isn't actually doing anything, really. 
And then... And now we polish away. Okay, what's number, number, number four? four. This, I think everyone would be different, but that's just the two settings that I've found yeah. work for uh, me. You've been changing so, it as you go, haven't you? Yeah. And you found your, your yeah, I've done like setting. a four point five, and then yeah. switch it down again. And but I find two and four on this particular two machine. Two to spread it, and four to put the two do it. Yeah. Right, here we go there. Oh. All you can see is our reflection. And my fat head. Your fat head, yeah. Mate, that's a joke. But obviously that hasn't been done. That has been done. Oh, you that. can clearly see a difference. Yeah. Oh my God, mate. It's literally like touching. That is ridiculous. Like you can clearly. Like you can't even see the paint, mate. It's that good. <laughs> all I can see is what's behind. Yeah, yeah. It's like a mirror. So it's going to be really, really hard. To show, look on camera, look. All you can see is everything else. Oh shit, the bed. <laughs> so that was before, like down here, and then look at the difference with the polish. I mean, that's that's still really good, but that's given it a super More of a gloss shine. shine yeah, if you just run that, run that cloth over what I've just done, you can feel. God, it's so smooth. Like, that is, Amazing. I know it's a fucking hard work and it's an effort, but mate, that's a joke. That's really impressive. That it? is so, so good. What a difference, honestly. It's so hard to show it on camera because all you see is everything else. Yeah. Please. Oh, it looks amazing. Very good. Very pleased. Yeah, I just got to do the whole car. But this should, this is a lot quicker. Yeah, it shouldn't take too long. Got to let Chrissy uh, crack on. Uh, he said that earlier on. I've been doing bits, he mate. Went, oh, sorry, mate, I'll come behind you and buff it off when we're polishing. Now it's going to let me crack on, is it? Well, I'll buff these off. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'll do some buffage now. Right. Oh, I've been busy, mate. I've sorted the shelves out. I've had a little sit down. <laughs> had a little sit down. Ceramic coat of my wheels. Oh, and I fitted your fucking grills. Oh, I fitted yeah. the grills to his bonnet. Yes. Tiger sealed all them in. So I've not been just sat doing nothing. Yeah, look. We won't show you the other side, but it's all painted now. I can see all the grills in. Lovely jubbly. So yeah. I haven't even looked at it actually since you've done it. Yeah, very oh, nice. you've done a neat job of them, then you did your own. I know, mate. Wowzers. So yeah, we're gonna get polishing and buffing, and then I'd say in about half hour, 45 minutes time, we're gonna have one very, very shiny Nighthawk Black F2, and it'll actually be, be, it'll actually be Nighthawk Black. Right. She's done. She's been ultimate compounded. Well, she's been clay barred. She's been ultimate compounded with the machine. She's then been ultimate polished with the machine. The machine. And then buffed off. And the result, well, the results kind of speak for themselves, really, doesn't it? It looks like a different car. I don't know how well the camera's going to pick this up, but... It looks amazing, doesn't it? Yeah, she looks like she's just rolled out the factory. Like, all you can see is reflection. Yeah. It's crazy, so... Uh, Very happy. You're going to have to do something now, aren't you? Cue cinematics. <laughs>
go. Doesn't she look amazing? She does look absolutely fantastic. Look at her look, under the lights. Burned it by the lights. My advice would be allow yourself two days for this. Yeah. And I would do the first stage, the compound, do it, buff it off and the next day. Polish it. Do the polish and the wax. with the machine. And then uh, it's a lot to get done in a day, isn't it? Well, it's we got here at 11. And it's now 20 past five. Mm. So six and a half hours, which isn't too bad, really. Not and that's with two of us. Though. Imagine how long it'd take on your own. Fuck me, mate. You can Says understand. Two, two one. Wow. Apart from the very last bit when he helped me buff off the polish. Fucking buff you off in a minute. <laughs> Not in a good way. Oh. I feel like I'm in the uh, Foo Fighters video. Remember that video? I love you polish me off, mate. Oh, fucking polish you off. Polish my head. So there we have it. Amazing. There we go. It was worth it. It looks fucking brilliant, mate. It does. Bloody brilliant. So next up, we're going to have to seal it all, which we're going to do with the ceramic coating, which will be a different video. It will. But we've got to do it now, because Chrissy needs to drive his car. Mm. So we'll explain all in the next video, which we're going to do right now. <laughs> <It's Chris's face. laughs> so, fucking, so sick of going like this on panels. But the, the weirdest thing about doing that is the the touch of it, the feel of it. Oh, like no, it's, weird. it's literally like a, a sheet piece of glass. glass. It's crazy. It feels so good. Like when you run a cloth over it, you can, it's like you just go like that and fall off of it. Don't yeah, you? It's amazing. I can't man. wait to see the beads on it when the next washer. Yeah, well, that's what the ceramic coat will do, hopefully. So what we're going to do with this, well, I'll explain that in the next video. We've got to start another one now, half past five at bloody night. Shouldn't take longer, this one. Sure. The thing is, we're doing it because, obviously, we don't want to drive it home. No, that's right. While the ceramic coat's still wet, so he's going to do it yeah. here, leave it overnight, and then pick it up in the morning. So let it cure, but yeah, anyway. Yeah, because the amount of work and effort's gone into it today, there's exactly. no point in half-assing it. And, no, so. exactly. There we go. Anyway, we're shit-chatting now. I'm going to need to get on. So thanks to all the new subscribers. Yep, loads of you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Joining us on our Friday night live chats as well. It's all yep. good fun. Very good fun. Thank but... you to Danny at Dino Days. Yep, go check him out. Tactical Racing, Carbon Maride, Toxic Knobs. Fucking everybody, mate. Everybody. Fucking everybody. We love you all, and we shall see you on the next video. Peace, Peace out. Bye-bye.